California startup Pickle has introduced Pickle One, the world's first sole computer, an AI-powered augmented reality glasses. Unlike conventional smart glasses like Meta Ray-Ban, these glasses anticipate user needs, understanding context in real time without waiting for commands. The glasses run on Pickle OS, the company's in-house operating system. Pickle says the OS continuously gathers context from your surroundings and interactions, organizing everything into what it calls a single memory cluster. The boldest claim is infinite memory, meaning the system can recall things you saw or heard whenever they became relevant again using memory bubbles. So, finally, you can forget stuff without worrying about forgetting. But to be honest, this looks like something Steve Jobs would be making if he were still alive. These AR glasses are so innovative that their features feel almost four years ahead of the competition, and on social media, they say it's too advanced to be true. That reaction makes sense because companies like Apple, Google, and Meta have spent years and billions trying to build AR wearables that are lightweight, natural, and useful for everyday life. Pickle, a startup most people barely knew before this reveal, has skipped the prototype cycle and jumped straight into pre-orders with a $799 price tag. So what exactly is going on? First, let's slow down and lay out what Pickle is actually claiming. Pickle One is being marketed as a full personal computer you wear on your face, not a smart glasses accessory you pair with your phone for a few features. The company calls it a binocular, full-color AR glasses designed for everyday life, and the central promise is that it doesn't wait for you to speak first. It tries to understand what's happening around you in real time and surface what you need at the moment you need it. That is the philosophical jump they're selling. The next computer is proactive, not reactive. The foundation of that idea is Pickle OS. Pickle describes it as a memory-based operating system built to behave more like human memory than like phone UI. Instead of you opening apps and searching manually, Pickle OS seamlessly collects your context from every source every day and organizes it as a single cluster. In normal terms, the OS is meant to take everything you do, places you go, things you see, conversations you hear, apps you connect, messages you receive, and tie it into one connected system. Pickle says it does this using what it calls memory bubbles. These bubbles are the unit of memory inside Pickle OS. The company frames them as episodic memories, not simple recordings. So rather than dumping raw video into a gallery, the system is supposed to extract meaning, people, objects, places, a message, a reminder, a preference, a suggestion, and store that as a bubble. The more you live with Pickle One, the more bubbles appear, and every second, the OS automatically finds connections between them, meaning it's building a network of linked experiences instead of a folder of disconnected clips. Then Pickle claims the OS goes one step further. It generates clouds, questions, and hypotheses about you based on those bubbles. If it thinks you prefer a certain place, or you keep mentioning a person, or you're planning something, it can ask you or confirm it. When you answer, that answer becomes a new bubble too. Over time, the OS claims it builds a living context of your life. This is where the infinite memory claims come from. Pickle isn't literally claiming infinite storage in the physics sense. What they're claiming is functional infinity, meaning you don't have to worry about forgetting something because the system can recall what you saw or heard when it becomes relevant again. The demo idea they keep pushing is simple. You saw something months ago, forgot it, and then at the exact moment it matters, Pickle surfaces it. A coat someone loved two years ago, a restaurant a friend posted on Slack last week, a reminder about a birthday, a suggestion about a reservation. That's the flow they want people to imagine. You can live your life normally, and the computer quietly connects the dots for you. Now, that memory system is only half of the product. The other half is how you interact with it. Pickle says the interface is built around interactive avatars. These aren't described as basic voice assistants. The company is pitching them as an immersive human AI interface, more immersive than chat and more immersive than voice alone. The avatar is supposed to live with you in real time, experience your day with you, and predict your intentions so it can surface the right idea in the right moment. In their own demo, the avatar speaks like a companion. 
It notices the environment, recognizes that you're busy, recalls relevant plans, and offers to take action for you. That's important because it implies the system isn't just doing memory recall. It's actively trying to turn memory into action. And Pickle's action list is ambitious. They claim Pickle 1 can help book rides, read messages, make reservations, and even shop online. That's not a small claim. That means Pickle is not positioning this as a camera glasses product. They're positioning it as a hands-free assistant that can take real-world tasks off your plate when the timing makes sense, without you needing to open your phone, navigate apps, or even speak first. To make that kind of always-available computing feel personal, Pickle says the glasses include a fingerprint scanner built into the side of the frame for authentication. That matters for two reasons. First, it's practical security. Your memory system shouldn't be open to anyone who picks up your glasses. Second, it fits the computer you wear idea. You unlock it directly on the device, not by pulling out your phone, not by typing a password. You touch the frame, and you're in. Then there's the companion interface. Pickle says your memory bubbles don't just live on the glasses. They built Pickle.com as the interface where you can touch, control, and edit your memory bubbles. And they push a bigger idea here. Your bubbles can come from more than just what the glasses see. You can connect your favorite applications, and those app events become bubbles too, instantly shared back with Pickle One. That's their ecosystem strategy. Your life isn't only what you see through a camera. There's also your messages, your calendar, your notes, your Slack posts, your saved links, your habits across platforms. The product becomes more valuable the more sources you connect, because the memory graph becomes richer. Pickle also makes strong privacy claims alongside this. They say Pickle OS encrypts data by default and decrypts it, only inside a hardware-isolated enclave. And they also claim that user data is not retained or used for training purposes when interacting with third-party applications. That is a big promise in 2026, because always-on glasses are a trust product breached. Now, the headline specs Pickle claims are designed to reinforce the same story. A real computer in glasses form. The company says Pickle One weighs 68 grams, which is aggressively lightweight even by 2026 wearable standards. For context, Xreal is one of the leading AR glasses companies in the world, and their flagship model, Xreal One, doesn't have cameras, doesn't have internal compute, and doesn't have an internal battery. Yet it still weighs more than Pickle claims their full AR glasses with four cameras weigh. That doesn't prove Pickle is fake. But it's a reasonable physics-based skepticism point. If an established company with mature supply chains can't hit that weight without the extra components, how does a startup claim it with everything included? The glasses use full-color binocular micro OLED displays, meaning AR overlays appear across both lenses with a wide field of view instead of a single-eye HUD experience. Pickle One runs at a Qualcomm Snapdragon XR class chipset, the same family of silicon that powers premium spatial computing headsets today. The Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2, for example, delivers tens of trillions of neural operations per second for spatial workloads, supports 3 out of 6 DOF tracking, sensor fusion, and real-time AR rendering, and is built to balance compute performance with low power scheduling. Pickle OS claims to manage these workloads intelligently, deciding when AR brightness, camera capture, or compute should ramp up, and when the device should quietly scale into low power mode to preserve battery and reduce thermal stress without breaking the experience. Also, the glasses promise up to 12 hours of battery life, which is competitive on paper, but impressive in context, because this includes AR display time and always-on spatial awareness, not just audio or recording. But when it comes to the price, people started to call the product fake priced at $799 with a $200 refundable deposit, and deliveries start from quarter 2, 2026. Now, people point out that the form factor Pickle is showing for its claimed capabilities would require breakthroughs in multiple areas at once, custom optics for dramatically curved lenses, extremely high power efficiency, reliable 3 out of 6 DOF tracking, high yield display manufacturing, and thermals that don't cook the frame, without external compute and without swappable battery packs, and they're selling it for under $2,000, even under $1,000.
Critics compare that to Meta's advanced prototypes, which are far bulkier, less capable, with worse battery life, and still rumored to have very expensive builds of materials. So what's going on strategically? Because the harsh truth is that Pickle is not launching into an empty market. Google, Snap, OpenAI, Apple, Meta, and a bunch of Chinese companies are all working on AI glasses that are expected to show major progress within the next 18 months. That's why some early adopters say the only way a startup wins is if it ships something dramatically better than what big tech will offer. So Pickle is either revealing too early to lock early adopter deposits before CES 2026, or they believe their product is genuinely production ready. And even if 40% of these claims materialize, it signals one thing clearly. AR glasses are inevitable. The next wave of computing won't be won by marketing. It'll be won by physics and trust. And right now, Pickle One has forced everyone to evaluate both. So, what do you think? Does Pickle One feel like a first mover miracle? Or a promise that still needs its receipts? Comment your take. And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest moving tech and AI breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage.